We're here today at UK Games Expo asking the fine vendors to roll and pitch. The rules of roll and pitch are simple. Our pitchers roll 2d20 for their seconds of time to pitch their wares to us. But we've done over 100 pitches now. I think it's time we change things up with roll and pitch second edition. Meet Rick. Rick is our bonus die, which will allow our pitchers to roll for the chance at extra time, or maybe they could lose some time. And with that, let's roll. Hi, I'm here with James from Lorescape, who's about to roll and pitch. We've got 26 seconds now. You have the opportunity, if you wish to, to roll our bonus dice for the chance of more time, or maybe less time, we don't know. What do you think? I'll roll the bonus. Let's go for it. Oh, re-roll. Okay, so your 2d20 can re-roll for a chance at a bigger number. Do I have to? Well, you've rolled the bonus dice, so... 31 seconds, 31 seconds. Hi, we're Lawscape. We're a 3D hex-based modular terrain system for RPG gaming, war gaming, and fantasy role-play gaming. We do D&D setups, we do Battletech maps, we do Gloomhaven custom setups. We also do whatever game you currently play on hex-based rules or your own built maps. Everything is injection molded, not 3D printed. Everything is UV printed, not painted, which keeps it affordable, easy to use. You buy it, play straight out of the box. You can build anything from maps, coastal areas, archways. It's structural and it's fun, it's for you. Hey, I'm here with George from 3 Sail Studios with the game Mappa Mundi, and we're going to roll and pitch. Here we go, here we go. We've got nine seconds, <laughs> but you've got a chance to get some bonus time here if you want to roll our special dice. Rick. Okay, here we go, here we go. Times two, 18 seconds. It's okay, 18 seconds. All right, Mappa Mundi is an exploration and ecology RPG. This is a zero combat, unique system design in house. Your job is to be adventure academics, chroniclers who go out into the wild in a world on the brink of a mass extinction event and say, I will save it by doing no harm. Encounter monsters. <laughs> I nearly got there. I think I got there enough. Hey, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. 18 seconds and I'm into it. So. <laughs> I'm here with Amelia from Two Faced, who's going to roll 2d20 for seconds of time and roll and pitch. Okay. We're on 29 seconds. Now, that could be enough, or you can roll our bonus dice for the chance at more time. I can do 29. 29 yeah, seconds? Yeah. So this is Two-Face. Two-Face is extreme charades for your face. Working in a team, your opposing team will set you a challenge, which is an emotion and an action. And you've got to act it out for your team to guess, but using no hands, no body movements, only your shoulders up. At the end of the game, whoever has succeeded in guessing the most cards is the winner. Uh, an example of an acting challenge you might get would be uh, the emotion might be excited and the action might be digging a hole and you would perform that just from your shoulders up. So, for example... <laughs> I think I'd get it from that. Yeah, like, right? <laughs> you don't think you would, but you don't. I'm here with AJ in the game Quirky Quarks and we're going to roll and pitch. Okay, we got 35 seconds. Now you have got the opportunity to roll for bonus time if you wish to with our D6. Okay. You don't have to because it could cut your time in half. Oh, but you could get up to I, double. No, 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 no. no. he's not going to gamble. He's not going to gamble. Quirky Quarks is a game about particle physics, but never fear, no science is necessary to play the game. In Quirky Quarks, you visit particle accelerators around the world. Uh, you bid for the right to do research at them and collect all the particles at them. Um, you start with the elementary particles, the tiniest things in the universe. You smash them together, you make bigger and more exciting things out of them. After five rounds of play, you and all the other players add up all your scores, and the person with the most exciting collection with the points wins. Hi, I'm here with Ronnie from Japanime Games, and we're going to talk about Sushi Boat with your 2d20 for seconds of time to roll and pitch. We, got, we are on 18 seconds. Now, if you want, you can roll our bonus dice, Rick, for the potential for extra time, but it could cost you half your time. Do you want to take the chance? Sure. Let's go for it. So we're 18's original number, and we are adding plus 5 to so 23 seconds we're going to have. 
Hello and welcome. This is Sushi Boat, which is a game of set collection where you're trying to eat as much sushi as you possibly can, as well as as many delicious side dishes. So you are going to score by having the most diverse arrangement of sushi, which is going to be located on these plates, as well as getting extra points for collecting wasabi and having all of your side dishes. You'll move around, you'll collect sushi, and you will tip the servers for their special abilities. The end. Ta-da! I'm here with Penny from Leyline Press. We're gonna roll and pitch. Oh, oh wow, you got 35 seconds. Now you have got the option to roll our bonus dice, Rick, if you want a chance at more time, but it could cost you half your time. 35 seconds is perfect. You happy with that? Yeah. All right, amazing. <laughs> I'm Penny from Leyline Press. We make indie tabletop role-playing games. We're here at UKG stand 2666 with Salvage Union, a post-apocalyptic mech tabletop role-playing game with easy-to-learn mechanics. You play as a group of salvagers who scour the wastes for scrap and use that scrap to support your community and build new mechs. The game's really simple with a D20 uh, flat resolution and uh, is a lot of fun to play. So come and see it and uh, our range of other tabletop games, adventures and zines at UKG. I'm here with Liana from Honest Quark Games, who's about to roll and pitch. You got 28 seconds. Now you have got the opportunity to roll our bonus dice, Rick, if you want a chance for more time, but it could cost you half your time, maybe. Ooh. Do you take it 28 seconds? All right, okay, 28 seconds. Uh, so it's a social adventure game where you play for either the aliens uh, who want to conquer the Earth, uh, the scientists uh, who want to fight the, the aliens or the extinctionists who want to get rid of the Earth of uh, any intelligent life. And um, the, uh, the, game of the, uh, the aim of the game is to play the science cards of a corresponding uh, team. Uh, the aliens uh, play the red science card, uh, the scientists play the blue science cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Roger from Spinning Poodle Games, and we're going to roll and pitch. Okay. Okay. All right, we're looking at 16 seconds. Excuse now, you have got the option to risk it all with our bonus dice. Okay. For more time if you wish to. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, we had 16. And we're doubling it. 32, 32 seconds. seconds. Okay, so I've got uh, fun versions of family card games. So, for example, this game, Slug Sandwich, it's like rummy, where you have seven cards, but you have to make a sandwich. So you have to get two slices of bread and five ingredients. It's lots of fun, lots of people play it. And this one is a charades game, which is gonna become our biggest seller. Three different levels, green, yellow, and red, and that's all it is, it's brilliant. I'm here with Catherine from No Drinks on the Table, and we're gonna roll and pitch. We're looking at seven seconds. So you've got, if you wish to take a chance here, we've got a bonus dice you can roll for the chance at more time. But it could cut your time in half. Well, we'll do the seven seconds. You're gonna do seven sure. seconds? Yeah. Okay, okay, you're brave, I like it. I'll give you that. Divide and Conquer, the game, card game of Conquers, where you draft, battle, and win. That's it all. Sometimes it's all you need is seven seconds. There you do it. So, that's amazing, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't want a serious look at the camera. <laughs> I'm here with Rob from Midnight Trading Company. He's gonna roll and pitch. 24 <laughs> seconds. So you can gamble if you wanna take a chance for some more time. I'm gonna gamble. He's a gambling man. Here we things. go. There we are. Okay. So 24 original number, plus a D20. Luckily, I've got one right here. There you go. There you go. Okay. 24 plus, eight. plus eight, 32, 32. seconds. Oh okay, okay. Hot Shot Pickleball is a fast-paced game of puns and pickles that's based off of the really popular sport called pickleball. Basically, you take uh, uh, five cards that are called rally cards. They help you get, get to the ball and hit the ball over the net to your opponent. Uh, if you don't like your cards, you can pull a long shot card. Some of them are really good and some of them are really bad. You go back and forth until you each either side gets five points and that's pickleball. You play as a pickle and you can choose from names such as uh, Kimchi, uh, Stew Cumber, Sally Kraut, Corny Sean with uh, fancy... Ah, uh, there we go. I'm here with Christian from ID Venture and we're gonna roll and pitch. All right, we're looking at 28 seconds. Now you have the chance to roll our bonus dice if you want more time, but it could cost you some of your time in exchange. Ooh, I will take the 28 seconds. Taking 28 seconds, not a gambling man. All right. Efficiency. 
Well, hello there, my name is Christian. I'm from ID Venture here. And this is one of our clue boxes, a escape room in a box. You solve the puzzles all over the box, all based on logic, you reveal new things, new things will pop up, you will have to blow into it, you will have to arrange mirrors, you will have to solve the box. In the end, you can open it, put something lovely inside, close it up again, and maybe give it to somebody else. We tell the stories, we puzzle them in this, and it's your time to solve them. I'm here with Cole from VR Distribution, and we're gonna roll and pitch. All right, you're looking at 30 seconds. Now you have a chance to increase that time if you wish with our bonus dice, but it could cost half your time as a risk. What do you think? Gamble. Taking the chance. All right, there's your D6 to roll. Oops, all right, let's get it ready. Oh, re-roll. So take your 2D20 and you get a new time. So I want high or low? We want high. We're looking at 25 seconds is your new time. So the gamble, unfortunately, didn't pay off 100%. Okay, welcome to a search party, Chaos in the Park. A search and find mystery game. Let's open it up. Welcome to our theme park. What do we do? We find the clown, we've got a magnifying glass. We're clowning around. What does it say? It says find the crashed car. Where is he? He's there. Where did he come from? There. 30 seconds. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mention it won the best children's award. We won an award. I'm here with Berkey from Game Toppers and we're going to roll and pitch. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh. 16 seconds. Now, if you wish, you can roll our bonus dice for the chance to double your time, but it could also cost you half. What do you think? Oh, let's double it. He's going for it. He's going for down, it. Baby. He's going for it. Plus five. So we got 21 seconds. All right. Game Toppers are a portable gaming table that converts your home table into a high quality board game table with thematic game mats from some of the top board game artists in the industry. Game Topper mats. Now we even have leg kits and dining covers to upgrade every game you play on a Game Topper. Check us out, GameToppersLLC.com. I'm here with Grady from D and Dice, and we're going to roll and pitch. We're looking at 25 seconds. Now, you have the option for bonus time if you want to roll our bonus dice, but there is the chance to half that time. We're going to for it. All right, 25 is the number. Crazy, we didn't roll for it. Reroll. So you get to reroll your 2d20 for more time. Let's see what you get, but you got to keep this one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. 17 seconds. Right, I'm Grady from D&Dice. Dice. You need to come over here really quick. We've only got a few seconds. So, we are the UK's premier dice brand for metal dice, plastic dice, acrylic dice, RPG accessories, the lot. Look at these. Look. They're 24 karat gold plated. You need to get here to stand 940 now. I'm with Johnny from McGuffin and Company, and we're here to roll and pitch. Yeah! We're on 15, but... That's not very long! You have got a chance to get bonus time if you want to take your chance. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take my chance. Half your time. We'll round up. We're rounding up though, it's eight, eight seconds. seconds. <laughs> Odd jobs, micro settings, 11 of them, tiny campaigns, tiny worlds, they're kind of weird. Be a robot, don't be a wizard, they're dead. Bye. I panicked. <laughs> panicked. <laughs> Panic makes the best videos, it's fine. I am here with Giacomo from Skyterra Games and we're gonna roll and pitch. Let's go. We are on 15. You have the opportunity, if you want, for the bonus die. Sure, uh, All let's right. go. 15. Oh, you get to re-roll your d20s, but now you got to keep the final number. All right, no problem. Ooh, 23 seconds. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right. So we have Skyter, that's a MOBA game, uh, card-driven, uh, for two to four players, competitive. Then we have a Skyter Horde, which is like a card battler, solo or cooperative, so one, two players plays in about 30 minutes and gives you the feeling of like uh, trading card games but solo or co-op. I'm with Donald from Tebaru and we're gonna roll and pitch. 11 seconds. Now you have the opportunity with our bonus dice to increase that time but you've got to respect what the dice says when it comes up. Do you go for it? I'm going for it. Okay. Plus 10, 21 seconds is where he's going. All right, so here we have Tebru and the Bad Karmas and the Curse of the Zodiac, which is a cooperative boss battle for one to five players against intelligent AI 
driven monsters. So they know where you are. They know your status. They in real time can make intelligent decisions to defeat you and that is their goal. Donald, can you tell me how much this box weighs? 13 kilos. 13 kilos. It would never fit in a Kallax shell. No. It is Kallax friendly. Kallax friendly. Out, but it fits. Okay. Kallax friendly, you heard it here first. I'm in the key of Madigan Games, and we're going to roll and pitch. I'd be waiting to play if it's Ooh, 37 seconds. Now, you have the choice if you did want to gamble and go for extra time. Or you can take 37 seconds. I reckon I can do 37 seconds. Okay, okay, it's bold. I like it. I like it. Hi, I'm Nikita from Attican Games. Um, I am an indie board game designer and publisher. I publish all my own games and I make them at home. I also make tons of accessories and I love making sure that everyone gets exactly what they want when they come to my stand, which is why there are endless colors to choose from, so different sizes of everything. And um, this year I brought loads of extra stuff. I've got backpacks and caps and Cufflinks have nearly sold out and I cannot wait for next year to make tons more to bring along. You can find me as Atkin Games on most social media platforms and come to atkingames.com. I'm with Lottie from Birdwood Games and we're going to roll and pitch. Ooh, 25 seconds. So we have the option of the bonus dice if you want to try and increase your time. I don't want to risk halving it. I feel like I can do it in 25 seconds. All right, 25 seconds. I like it. Dog Park is the beautiful board game about walking all of your favorite dogs. Yeah. You take on the role as dog walkers and you walk through a park collecting resources and points and trying to score uh, the best reputation as the best dog walker in town. I've still got 14 seconds. Um, there is a set collection mechanic. There is an iterative engine builder as you're putting dogs on and off the lead. They have special abilities. Seven seconds, what can I tell you? Um, um, all the um, UK Kennel Club uh, breeds are in the collector's edition and time. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that was brilliant. I'm with Steph from Cobblepath Games and we're going to roll and pitch. 16 seconds. So you can take it or you can roll the bonus dice. I'm going to roll the bonus dice. Just roll the bonus dice. So 16, we're going now. We got. Oh, re roll. So you get to re roll your D20s okay. and take the number. 24. Better. Paid off, it paid off, Better. it paid off. Okay. okay, this is Locus. It is a horror mystery game about facing your inner demons and trying to escape somewhere that is pulling all of your regret and guilt out of you, manifesting it into monsters. It is based on stuff like Event Horizon and the Silent Hill franchise um, with many, many spooky vibes. Follow us at, at Coppelbath. Um, we also have a website and you can find all of our games as PDF copies on itch.io. Cool, I'm with Fern from Call Path Games, and we're gonna roll and pitch. We got 12 seconds. So, you can take the 12, or you can roll oh, definitely the bonus dice. Oh, let's go for it, ready? Plus five, 17 seconds, right. worth it. Hi, this is Stacks of Goblins. You are one of several goblins in a trench coat, and the Goblin Ruler has sent you out to the people places to go and get things. But none of you are listening, so you've all got a different idea of what you're getting. You're going to cause chaos until the peoples get fed up with you, and then you've got to make your great escape. I'm here with Adam from Storytellers Forge, and we're going to roll and pitch. Oh, 18 seconds. You can take 18, or you can take our bonus die for a chance at more time. Let me just have a little looky here and spike this boy. Yeah, you got plus five, plus 10, you got double, a, a re-roll chance, or you got that half. Let's look dangerously. Let's do it. Re-roll, so that is a double chance on the 2d20. Roll them again, you gotta take this final result. Oh, tw oh, it was 22 is what I saw, 22. 22. So, we get a better. You're dead, now what? That's the question you and the adventurers got to ask yourselves in the Black Ballad. Here in the undead city of Knoxville, you and the party are dealing with angels, demons, all sorts of creatures, and they are trying to vie for your soul. Multiple storylines, multiple points of contention, an epic encounter spanning hours of gameplay, all for you to try here in the Black Ballad. So there's also a podcast I hear. Do you want to roll and pitch for that as well? Let's do it. Ooh, 30 seconds. Now you have got the chance if you wanted to gamble. You could try for more time with the bonus die. I believe in the power of the story we're telling. 30 seconds is... 30 seconds. Excellent. 
The Mystic Muses podcast is a brand new adventuring podcast featuring a recurring cast of characters. Unlikely heroes going through my setting, the homebrew world of Perdition. A setting I've been developing for 10 years, right here for your listening pleasure. Unlike some of the bigger podcasts in the world of Dungeons and Dragons, we get nice, concise, 45 minute to an hour episode so that you have your own listening pleasure. Unlikely heroes going through magic, mystery, mirth, and all of that goodness. Episode 12 has just come out. Tune in to you for yourself. I'm with Judson from TEDx Games, and we're going to roll and pitch. All right, here we go. We got 23 seconds, so you have the option, if you want to, to gamble with this die. Yes, let's gamble. So 23 is the original number. Half time. Half the time. We're going to round it up, so you get 12 seconds. Sir. Here we go. 12 seconds. Okay. Deep Regrets is a horror fishing game about spending a week at sea reeling horrifying things out of the ocean, managing your madness, and eating eating humans on occasion, engaging in cannibalism, and trying to get rid of your regrets. I'm with Adam from Demon Hunter Bricks, and we're going to roll and pitch. Okay. We've got 31 seconds. Now you can keep that, or if you're feeling lucky, you could gamble for the chance at more time. I think I'll stick to the Oh, okay. All time. right, all right. My name's Adam, and I run Demon Hunter Bricks. I design custom kits made using genuine Lego parts. So basically, I design them. You get a full kit with genuine Lego. You get my instructions and the stands included. I design it on the int- on CAD software, and you get to build it. So I do a variety of things from Doctor Who to Star Wars and all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I sell online on my website, Demon Hunter Bricks. Um, I also do corporate work as well for companies. I'm here with Kurt from Smirk and Dagger Games, who's going to roll and pitch. Ooh. 19 seconds. Now, you have got the option to roll our bonus die for more time, but it could cost you time if you get the wrong side. I think I'm good with 19 seconds. 19 seconds. Whoa, Hold. whoa. You think? You, I, if you can do it, it's up to you. We are at a game expo. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> all right. Plus 10! Hey! So, so it's 19 plus 10, 29 seconds. So I'll uh, walk that. in the park okay. now. Tesseract is a very collaborative, cooperative game that starts with a cube of 64 dice on a rotating turntable. It's a dice manipulation game, and you are trying to shut down a fourth dimensional object from ripping a hole in time, space, and taking us with it. It is collaborative, it is puzzly, it is amazing, and you have to try it. And you can find it at smirkandagger.com. I'm with Giacomo from Lyrius Games, and we're going to roll and pitch. Okay. Ooh, we got 34 seconds. Now, it's a good time, but you have got the option to roll our bonus die if you want even more time. <laughs> but it could cost you half of your time. I think I'll You're going to stick with 34? Yes. All right, then. Okay. Hello, so Age of Comics uh, is a worker placement in which you play the role of a publishing company during the Golden Age of Comics, so late 30s, beginning of the 50s. And what you have to do is publishing the greatest comics to gather the highest number of funds and in this way scoring the more points and you can like create original comic books you can also as it was practiced at times like bring like rip off you know they won't get you along because like we try to award originality and how you make your comic book you just go there you like you hire creative teams you find ideas and you'd like you make the best comics possible awesome thank you thank you very much i'm here with matt with elements of power we're gonna roll and pitch Oh, 23 seconds. So it's up to you whether you want to keep that or gamble it for the chance of more time. I'm going to gamble. Oh, let's go for it. Let's gamble. Gambling man. This trick. game has a lot of random chance in it. Let's see what we get. 23 is original plus a D20. Oh. So 23 was original number. 23 plus another eight. 31 seconds of time. Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm here with Elements of Power. It's a miniature skirmish board game going to crowdfunding later this year. Playtime is 60 minutes, setup time is 10 minutes, pack away time is 10 minutes. So the game is alternating activations. You each form a party of three heroes from your sack of swords and sorcery theme, and then you battle it out in the skirmish arena to see who is victorious. You have victory cards that randomly determine and procedurally generate the victory conditions of the game and the events. As the game unfolds, you battle to either claim ultimate victory with strategy or entirely eliminate your opponent. I'm here with John at Death Trap Games, ready to roll and pitch. Yes. We are on 10 Ooh. seconds. So, we will give you the offer of our bonus die, Rick. If you want to roll in for the chance of more time, just know that you could get half the time, but... I can do it. Do gamble, it. Gamble, gamble. 
Oh, plus 10. So we double that time to 20 seconds. To take the throne is a super fast paced tactical card game for three to five players. Plays in about five to 15 minutes. Hands are constantly going to be changing. One player is the monarch. Everyone else is a house player with identical cards. They're trying to take the throne from the monarch. If they do, they change hands and you go again in a race to eight victory points to win the game. Oh, no, no. Two seconds to go. <laughs> Here he is. Roland Pitch Second Edition is live across the land. Hello, so this is... <laughs> Straight in. 28 seconds, right? 32. Right, 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 right. You're taken away by harder in seconds. I don't feel that was my best pitch I've ever done. That was a brilliant pitch. It's a bit chaotic. Ready? No. 